Hey everyone and welcome to another Armor 3 video. This one's a doozy with 35 mods to cover. This video will be a lightning round glancing over what the mods are and why I wish I found them sooner. Most will be mechanics improvement and overall quality of life mods, all of which have a permanent spot on my mod list when I play Arma 3 because after downloading them, they completely changed the game one way or another. Now with that, let's knock this list out. At 35 is Remove Stamina. No frills on this one, all it does is take stamina away and now my guy doesn't seem like an obese airsofter losing steam after sprinting 10 yards with a 25 pound pack on. The stamina drain has always been a struggle and this one is a must have if I'm to enjoy anything on the ground. At 34 is explosive fuel containers. Who doesn't love explosive shit? Honestly, when striking a base, there needs to be more items that will cause secondary explosions outside of just vehicles and this mod is perfect for it. At 33 is Project Sound Effects Remastered. This one enhances the sound of your game world from adding hit and death sounds to new sounds when you aim down the sights and shift around in your gear. We make a lot of noise when we move in our gear, so I'm glad that this mod captures that, kicking up the immersion to 11. At 32 is Light Blue Watercolor Mod. This one's an aesthetic choice by me, but beautiful crystal clear water is a must have. I love it and it helps me enjoy the game world more when it's gorgeous to look at. At 31 is G Cam. I wouldn't have a channel without this mod. 98% of the footage from my channel is captured with this mod, and it really helped me build the look and feel I wanted for my videos. Some people say it's broken, but I've not had any issues with it personally, thinking maybe they're using mods that don't work with it well. If Arma 4 doesn't have a Gcam mod, I honestly worry that I won't have the burning desire to make cinematic content for it. At 30 is Helicopter and Plane Turbulence. If you want to kick up the immersion of flying an aircraft in Arma 3, these low impact and simple mods are it. They simply add turbulence that can be noticed in flight and the amount of turbulence can be adjusted in the options. At 29 is Eden Enhanced. Simply put, the best mod for the 3D editor. It gives so many new logical options that help mission makers flesh out their designs even further. New things like adjusting specific AI strengths and weaknesses of each individual unit, for example. There's a laundry list of additions on this one and it's an all time banger. At 28 is AI Voids Prone. I can't state enough how critical this mod is to my enjoyment. Nothing is worse than going into contact and everyone's laying in grass, turning what should be a quick engagement into a 20 minute grass hunt. This one simply disables the AI's ability to constantly prone spam. At 27 is ONT Expansion. This mod adds no shit, probably about a thousand items and effects to the Eden Editor for mission creators. You could honestly get lost in how much this mod adds, and it's updated regularly. A better explanation is on its Steam Workshop page, and I highly suggest you give it a read to see what all this one unlocks. At 26 is Arsenal Search. Want to see all the olive, black, or MTP items at a glance? Control find it, and now you can. It's super helpful if you have a bunch of huge mods that bring hundreds of equipment pieces and weapons with them and you don't want to scroll through all that shit. At 25 is Cinematic Lens Flare. If you want vehicle lights and most of the other light sources in the game to look beautiful, this mod is a must have. Since finding it, I've never had it not in my mod pack. Download this one and make JJ Abrams proud. At 24 is 2035 Modern Equipment Replacement Helmet. This is, in my opinion, one of the best vanilla asset styled helmet packs. I love the texture work on the helmets and the helmet covers, and there's a metric shitload of different camo schemes that just fit about every type of scenario and mission. At 23 is Fire On My Shot Engage Mode. Take better control of your AI squad mates. Planning an ambush and don't want to fuck with the command prompts when you start engaging? In this mod, your guys won't open fire until you pull the trigger, and it makes for a pretty awesome experience. At 22 is Zek Zeus and Eden Templates Building Compositions. If you enjoy base building in either the 3D editor or Zeus, then you need this composition. Over a hundred base configurations for all three faction sides are included in varying sizes and complexity. Once you place them, you can customize to your heart's content. A great foundation if you don't like starting from scratch. At 21 is the Reduced Haze mod. This one clears up your visuals and makes them pop like you wouldn't believe. I get a lot of questions asking how my visuals look this good and vibrant, and this mod is about 80% of the reason. At 20 is Ladder Tweak Remastered. Holy shit, what a mod. Get up and down ladders four times as fast, and also gives you the ability to slide down the ladder in a hurry. No longer are you gonna be fisted by some doucher a kilometer away while trying to scale a building. That's a win for the boys. At 19 is Vile HUD. If you want to enhance your immersion and go for that minimalist style of visuals, Vile HUD is it. With one keystroke, the user interface is gone, and all that remains is the beautiful scenery. Great for cinematics and overall immersion into the game world. 
and with that same keystroke, you can bring everything right back. At 18 is a South Asia No Grass mod. I'm just gonna say massive thank fuck for Anzac SAS Steven. The man is a legend. This mod gets rid of all of the grass on South Asia, so now when you're building an airbase with pavement, you won't have grass annoyingly sticking up through it, making it look like the CE troops are just sitting on their ass doing nothing. At 17 is Lamb's RPG. This is the Black Hawk Down experience. This mod forces the AI to use their RPG slotted weapons a lot more, and boy do they. I've made a squad composition of mainly low-tech RPG troopers, and they are a terror to fight. Works for both vehicles and low-flying helicopters. At 16 is Web Knight's Zombies and Creatures mod. The old Zombies and Creatures mod is no longer being supported, which is a shame because it was awesome. However, this mod ramps it up by a thousand by including terrifying new monsters, sound effects when detected, and varying strengths of enemies. You can have some zombies that drop with a single shot, or zombies that are strong as fuck, and you're pretty much screwed. At 15, it's Echo's Soundbox Everywhere. Tired of having to remember to make yourself Zeus in single player missions? Well now you can just hit the Zeus key and have Zeus anywhere you go, regardless of if you've synced yourself to a module. This is also works in the campaign and scenario single player missions, which really makes for a lot of fun creating your own chaos and giving yourself a full arsenal. At 14 is Mo Pilot Gear Suite. This is the best aircrew equipment on the workshop, period. Dot. I used to love firewheel stuff because it was basically the only serviceable pilot gear on the workshop, but after seeing this work of art back in 2020, firewheels has become mid as fuck. There's a ton of variety for both Air Force and Navy pilot uniforms, flight suits, and flight helmets with oxygen masks. Y'all already know I slut hard for anything with an oxygen mask, so this is a no-brainer. At 13 is AI cannot see small drones. Okay, so the mod is a lie. They can see it, they just don't engage it until you get real close. But this makes drones against the AI a viable option now because before this mod, some dickhead with a 9mm could snipe your ISR drone out of the sky from 2 kilometers away. Now you can shit on the AI with near impunity. My, how the tables have turned. At 12 is improved grenades. You ever feel like you just threw an airsoft grenade by accident because all but one of the dudes within 10 meters of the explosions are still alive? No more of that shit. Now when you throw a grenade, you're saying fuck you to everything in that general direction. And it's glorious. At 11 is Zeus Enhanced. Dude, if you have loaded up vanilla Zeus even once, you probably realized there were some things that were lacking with it that really didn't make any sense, like the ability to edit things that were placed in the game at startup. Zeus Enhanced comes with so many quality of life improvements that Zeusing is a whole different ball game now, and this is a must-have. At 10 is Additional Measurements. Tired of trying to guess what the fuck a kilometer is? Switch over to something that makes sense. Also, knots and mile per hour are available for aircraft and ships. Hopefully, real American measurements like Ford F-150s per set of double D tits get implemented so I can really increase my immersion. At 9 is Enhanced Missile and Lighting Effects Mod version 1.4. Straight up, if you want sexier smoke trails and better lighting for missiles at nighttime, this is the mod. Sometimes you'll get weird shit happening due to the way Arma 3's engine handles smoke particles, but by and large, it's fine. The benefits outweigh the negatives here by a country mile. At 8 is Drongo's map population. Drongo is a magician. All of his mods fuck harder than the US government. This one uses a couple easy to use modules to populate entire map regions in an instant upon startup, as well as a ton of other awesome features like area defense. Give this one a look if you want to spice up your single player life. At 7 is Blast Core compiled by Nietzsche. I get asked all the time what my explosion effects mod is, and it's usually when I'm running this. There's other things that enhances like bullet impacts and smoke pillar effects that make your game look amazing, but after a prolonged engagement can start to wear down your FPS over time if there's like a ton of vehicle wrecks around. But pound for pound when it comes to keeping your FPS safe, this is the best explosion effects out there. At six is death and hit reactions. This one brings some over the top animations when you shoot enemy AI. Animations are based on the location of the impact as well as the caliber that's fired and can yield some pretty awesome effects. Some don't like it, but I think it's fun. At five is Desert AAF Retexture. I love the standard AAF look, don't get me wrong. It's iconic at this point, but Altus is a lot more arid than it is plush, and thus the desert scheme fits in better to me. It's gorgeous and effective, and to me, that's a fucking win, boys. At four is Align. Pulling your weapon up with this one loaded causes your character to align the front and rear sight apertures as you would in real life. 
Unless your controlled pairs or John Wick, you're never going to snap right up to the perfect sight picture and blow your enemies away every time. No shot. Get this mod and be a pleb like the rest of us. At 3 is no more aircraft bouncing. Stop your downed aircraft from thinking they're Elon Musk's next orbital project. This mod keeps aircraft from screaming back airborne once they impact, and it gives some sexy particle effects making impacts look spectacular. At 2 is OPCOM Operations Command. Look, I'm as straight as they come, but I would probably fellash the shit out of Brett for making this. This is the best single player scenario generation mod around, period. Create your scenarios squad and equipment from the start with an awesome user interface that allows for more customization than we honestly deserve. And that number one is Head Range Plus Track IR Mod by Faint. This mod coupled with Track IR gives you an enhanced six degrees of freedom you've never had in a shooter. Look down, in, around, and really get your head into the game, literally. Using this mod makes me feel like I'm using VR when I'm not, and I cannot recommend this one enough if you use Track IR. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this monster list. I hope you found some mods that maybe I haven't covered before, but I know this was a, a repeat from the last ones, but I just wanted to get them all into one list for people that keep asking. I'm going to create a Steam collection for basically all of these mods, plus a few others from my personal mod list that I always roll with that forms the foundation of my quality of life improvements before I add any mods like RHS or Cup or any of the other faction mods. The link will be down below in the description of this video. Thank you to my patrons for not only having jawlines that fuck, but for supporting me and my channel, and also to my amazing channel members for their support as well. If you want to join these people and be legends yourself, the links are in the description below. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.